All right, people, let's look at the trusty Tomex. We are going on a little road trip to the Hampton Inn Tunnel Road. Now we're starting off at zero. To highlight a so we're gonna go and start the truck. Here we go. All right, we're gonna go get some gas and then we're gonna hit the road. Here we go. I know we just left, but we are here at the Exxon in Vinton putting gas in the pickup truck. I'm gonna put about probably 30 bucks in there. That should get me down there. So, all right, we're going to see a certain special guest, which you'll get to see once we get there. All right, it's 11.57, and we are exactly 1.8 miles into the trip. We are driving down Orange Avenue, and up there ahead, past that Food Lion truck, you can see the days in Orange Avenue, which I just recently did a hotel tour there. And if any of y'all ever come to Roanoke, I will say that's a nice place to stay, as well as the Econo Lodge down the street. But, um, like I said, I do recommend this Days Inn. Normally, I don't like the Days Inns, but this one's nice, and they have some neat Dover elevators. So I'll go ahead and film as we go by the Days Inn on Orange Avenue. This is a very busy street. As you know, half of it burned down, and that elevator just barely got saved, that old Dover. There's the Days Inn Orange Avenue. All right, well, we're stopping. We'll get some more video here soon. Actually, no, we're going. So we'll get on 581 North, and over there is Sheets Orange Avenue. Jake, if you don't know what you're missing by um, not having sheets in your area. And that light is yellow. I hope it doesn't turn red. Oh boy, I just ran a red light. Miles. Take ramp on right to US 220 North. And there's the Econo Lodge right there. I think that actually used to be a Holiday Inn way back in the day. I saw some keys on eBay, hotel keys for sale. A Holiday Inn, and that was the address. So I think that used to be the old Holiday Inn. On right to US 220. There is downtown, and we are now leaving Roanoke. I am running a little bit late. I'm not gonna be there till well, you can't see the GPS till 1541. But this is gonna be a fun trip. A short trip, but a fun trip. All right, people, this over here is the hotel district in Roanoke, I guess, because you got a bunch of hotels back in there. Sheraton, Courtyard by Marriott, and I think Evan and Aaron stayed in that Sheraton over there. Here in front of us, that is a Pontiac GTO. It doesn't look very sporty to me, but we are getting ready to get on I-81, going south again, just like when we were going to St. Louis. But we're not going that far this time. Left to I-81 South. We're getting on 81 South. Hopefully there won't be any blasting going on. Because I know that threw a wrench in the machine last time. And we're going to be on it pretty much the whole way, I think. Now let's look at the Timex again. Uh, you can't see it. Anyway, this is right here. I'm sure you know my cat, Java Bean. This is the stretch of highway where we found Miss Java Bean. Right over there to your left by that guardrail is where Java Bean was. Just thought you'd like to know that. The Exxon in Elliston where the Otis Series 1 is up to the right, but you can't see it because there's a mountain. There, now you can see the time and the miles. We are just over 20, uh, 32 miles, I think it is, in the trip. And we are going by Blacksburg. This is where we got off last time to go to St. Louis. So now we are continuing south on 81. And our good friend Jeff Davis goes to Virginia Tech, which is back over there somewhere. All right, we are now 50 miles in the trip. We're going to go ahead and get off here in uh, Dublin, Virginia, at the mile marker 98, because there's one of my favorite dining establishments here. And there's the Timex, which we'll look at in a minute, because due to the lighting, you won't be able to see the readout on it. And I'm going around the curve. That's right, McDonald's is right here, and I used to... Calculating. 
I used to deliver trucks from the Volvo factory right down the road, which I'll show on the, let me turn this off. I'll show it on the clip on the way out. But now we'll look at the Timex. There we go. It's 12.45. And this is an interesting intersection here. It says to yield and I'm gonna get over several lanes because over there's the McDonald's restaurant. All right, we are here at the Double McDonald's. Now let's go get something to eat. We're probably gonna get it to go. All right, 52 miles. We got some food here. TJ, you're gonna like this part. Oh, they cheaped out on the fries. Got some french fries and an Angus bacon burger with no onions or pickles. Let's take a look at it. Ooh, yummy. So now you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take a quick bite of this. Here we go. This is for uh, you, TJ. Mmm. And you too, Cubs Rule 2040. Tastes great. So now we're gonna get back on the road. Over there is the Dublin Hampton Inn. I think Hampton Inn is going to play a part in this video here in a little while, don't you? Well, anyway, we're back on I-81. Let me roll up the window. It just gets hot here because the heater's stuck on. You'll see the Volvo factory out here, which is where I used to, um, I used to deliver the trucks to the dealerships. It'll be over here on the right. You can see the Volvo sign up there, so the factory's just right over there. It's windy today. I'm getting blown around a little bit, but over there, that's where I used to deliver trucks from, right there. There's some of the trucks sitting there. Yep, that's what I used to do right there. It looks like they're selling trucks again. That's a good thing. We are now 150 miles on the trip. There's the time, and we are in uh, Bristol, Virginia. Getting ready to cross over to Tennessee, but first I think we're gonna get some gas here. Not sure where it's cheaper. I think it's cheaper here in Virginia. So we're gonna get some gas here in a minute. Here we go at exit 5. I think there's an Exxon right off the highway. So this is going to work perfect. Alright, there's the Timex. We uh, put $20 gas in the tank, in, into the tank. We're about 150 miles on the trip, so we're more than halfway there. And here in about another mile, it is windy. I'm getting blown around. Here in another less than about a half mile, we'll be in Tennessee, so film crossing the state line into Tennessee and then we're going to be going down on I think it's Interstate 26. Yeah, we're running a little bit later than I wanted to run. Now we're in Tennessee. We shouldn't be stopping again until we get to Asheville. And here we are in Tennessee. Welcome to Tennessee. We're going to be in three states today. All right, there's the time, and we are 166 miles. And this is the last half mile that we're going to be spending on Interstate 81. We're getting ready to get off on I-26, heading down to Asheville. We only have about, we have a little, about, a little less than an hour, probably, to get there. So, we'll be there shortly. Like I said, about an hour. This is one of those ones we got to do a crazy merge here. we we'll have to get in front of that truck. Yeah, this is what's called a clover leaf. But yeah, this trip's going pretty good so far. Like I said, got a little bit later of a start than I wanted to. So, anyway. Here we are on Interstate 26. Here's the sign for I-81 North. That's how we're going to go home. Look at this. This is beautiful. We're on Interstate 26. 207 miles on the trip, and there's the time. This is absolutely beautiful. It's been raining on and off.
just in the middle of the Blue Ridge Mountains. See how pretty it is down here, and yeah, look, it's raining. Okay, it's 347, 237 miles on the trip, and we are now in Asheville, and all of a sudden traffic came to stop, and we're less than, we're just a couple miles away from the hotel. We are three miles away from the hotel. I was going to film the final, uh, final few miles, but I mean, it's going to be traffic like this. Why not? It said keep left, but what is going on here? Why are we stopped on the interstate? Asheville can't be that big of a city that has a traffic problem. Uh, now it's starting to move again. It looks like the jam is in the right lane, so... Maybe we'll keep filming. I know the conclusion. I know the conclusion. I know the conclusion of any road trip. It's exciting. I'm just trying to figure out why there's all this traffic. Oh, we're not by Interstate 40. Uh, Cubs Rule 2040 is off that highway. Uh, out in uh, the other part of the country, of course. Oh, it's just getting onto 26 East. Ooh, there must be an accident. Anyway, we are almost there now. Why is there traffic in the, going into downtown? That's strange. Keep right on July oh, I gotta make it right now. This is a dysfunction junction. Oh, big. Now we got two more miles. People sure take their time around here. Of course, the speed limit's only 50, though, but I'm running later than I wanted to run, but still. This is the final three minutes of the trip. Drive 2.1 miles, then take exit 6. On right. uh, I guess I'll get out of the hammer lane. I'll hammer down a little bit. Don't want to go too fast, though, because we don't want no speed ticket. Yeah, I'm excited about this. We got a special guest here in just a few minutes. One mile, 1.8 miles. This is a beautiful town. It's almost as pretty as Roanoke. Over there's downtown. I'm not pointing the, I'm not looking through the camera, so. You may or may not be seeing it. That's downtown Asheville. Wow, this hotel is close to downtown. Tunnel Road is where we're getting off. I think it's the next exit. It's Greyhound Station. Streetcar 1743 likes buses, but we all know the Greyhound ain't that great anymore. Oh, there's the sign for the famous Hampton Inn. It's at the next exit in one mile. So I guess I'll go ahead and get over now. We'll just have to travel slow for a mile. We're going 40 miles an hour, see? 2.8 miles. Take exit 6. On right to Tunnel Road. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I can get over lane. Yeah, our destination is the Hampton Inn on Tunnel Road. We are going to see some wonderful people when we get here, but who those people are, I guess I'll leave that a little surprise. Some of my viewers might already know, but this is the longest half mile of my life. I'm just excited, and time goes by so slow when you're excited. Uh, 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 I see some hotels over there. There's a Holiday Inn. Take exit 6, on right to Tunnel Road. Here we go. I'll tell you, the steering on my pickup truck has gotten a little bit squirrely in this old age. Now, I guess I turn right, it says. Nope, up oh, left. Oh, that's weird, a zigzag. I'm getting left lane. This is gonna be a zigzag here. 
AKA a dangerous intersection. Oh no, this is just an exit ramp. Turn left on US 70. And for all you car wash fans, there's a car wash, although I don't think I'm gonna go through it. All right, here we go. Half mile to our destination. Turning left, it's on US 70. This road goes through Paris, Tennessee too. Five miles to address 204 on lap. Uh, once you know it, we're gonna catch every red light, just like I'm going late to work. Oh no, we got green. Almost there, three tenths of a mile. I'm getting excited. I hop. Ah, there it is. It's on the left. Ah, what's up on that hill? There it is, the Hampton Inn. And here we go in the driveway. It's a steep hill, but up we go. We're here. Calculating. There it is, the Hampton Inn. All right, I guess this is it. All right, we'll see if someone comes out here. Actually, let's go in. We will go in the hotel. Let us walk in the hotel. And here we are at the Hampton Inn on Tunnel Road. And these are our special Hi. guests. How are you? Let's come over here and see who's behind the Who is the real head. special guest in the video? Look at this. Look who's behind the desk. This is our special elevator fan. This is our special guest. Do you want to end my video? Yep, so this is the end of the road trip from Lawn Oak to Asheville. So that's it for now. Okay. Fan elevator. He's gonna go up and look at his room. All right. And, 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 look, and, too, so and look, and here's the, hi. Hey, this is gonna be on my YouTube channel. Yeah, this is your <laughs> channel, and this is TJ. Yeah, so this is a video that my dad's filming, and you are gonna see this on Diesel Ducey's channel. Okay. And is this the TJ Elevator fan? Yeah. So elevator? How many elevators does this place have? One or two? Two. It's got two. It's got one on the other end, but this is the one that's dedicated to me. I know what you get in with. There it is. Dog. There's the plaque. Yep, now I'll get in behind there you. Go. Where are we going? Uh, uh, three. Going three. to three. Yes, 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 come on here. Where are you going? Three. Good well, that's where we're going, so we can All make right. one stop. That's good. That's right. There's the plaque right there. There's the plaque. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, okay. He's an elevator fan. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. At the front desk. Yeah. TJ, you want to give her one of your business cards? Oh, yeah. He's got his business card. Thank you so very much. All right, we'll let you get out first. Okay. Finagle this card out of the okay. Watch out, TJ. I'm gonna turn it around. You might want to, yeah, there we go. All right, uh oh, door's closing. Uh oh, there we go. There we go. I don't want right, you to go down the shaft. Now I'll hold this door and get out behind you. All right, show me my room, TJ. I'll let you go ahead. Go, right. go, go through the room. I brought my bathing suit, by the way. That's good. Okay. Yeah, we'll go down there a little later. <laughs> I love that hand. We'll go down a little later, close the here you are. All right, TJ. Uh, if you want to do it, you can open it. All right. After all, you're the one that keyed this. So if the lock doesn't work, it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> and he did it right. All right. And yep. he did it right. He's opening up your room for you. Oh wow. Let's go see get if this it's a, see if it's a nice room. Oh wow, very nice. Very nice room. I'm very happy. And it's got. Uh, I'll get the lights on for you. You got your, you got your pick of bed. Yeah, let me just get my, I'm just going to get my stuff yeah. off the cart and then take it back down and I guess we can go somewhere. I'm loading the cart here and this is the room. Watch out, TJ. I'm going to chuck this on the bed. It's heavy. I don't want you to get hit by it. Ugh. Whoa, I hope there's nothing breakable in that thing. Uh, I like because this, this just kind of comes in. All right, here's Diesel Ducey coming in just throwing his and stuff on the bed. Yeah, it's in the car, I think. All right. Well, we got here to the room and he'll probably get a full, full room tour later tonight. Oh, yeah. So I guess on both videos... 
Yep. See ya. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Alright, and then you just close, close the screen. record all right there we go we're recording uh okay. this is andrea coon is actually using my video camera look at this andrea this is, is the um general manager of this fine hotel hampton in tunnel road and we've been talking on facebook for a while now so i got a i got something in here from the hampton Inn. let's see it's down in here wow hey, how you doing doing well how you doing oh doing wow good. i got Thank look you. at this Oh wow! Look I got my own flip uh, cam, and that's just, that's one just like, like we're recording this video. Brad, oh. I'll tell you, I'm gonna like have to get this thing going here in a little bit. It's like looking in a little mirror here. <laughs> Big thank you to Hampton and Tunnel Road. If y'all are ever in Nashville, make sure y'all stay here. You can close the screen. We have them up in the room. That'll work. Okay, I, I can get you some. I, you know what I'm thinking? This What's looks that? like uh, this is this the camera that Andrea originally used to film that that Hampton Alley moment? Yes. Yeah, it is. Because this one looks like it has some use to it, so I'm thinking. She cannot get you one from corporate, so she gave you hers. The one they use. So this camera is the one. That's her personal. That's one, one that she the... got as general manager. So this is the camera that started the whole Hampton Alley thing. Yeah, it exactly. is. Exactly. Uh, I got This is a piece of history right here. Yes. Yep. I'm but, going to do a. Do I didn't know that. I'm going to do a, a document. I'm going to do a virtual unboxing about that. Okay. I'm going to find out more details about how the whole thing unfolded. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's awesome. Yeah. Well, we we can tell you now that it's out. Yeah. <laughs> we can't tell you when okay. it wasn't out. Oh, because, I know. Because they told us not to. So this so. is this. All right, we're going in the tunnel. This is the Bowcatcher Mountain I, Tunnel. This is I the tunnel. I did some headed into the tunnel. We're going into the tunnel. tunnel. <laughs> so this is. The, you this, like tunnels? So this is. I'm why scared. It's, no, I love tunnels. This is why it's called Tunnel Road. Hey, can you yeah. walk through this tunnel? Yeah, it's a walkway. Oh, I would love to come too. down here and take some pictures. I can't. I probably wouldn't personally walk through the tunnel. I don't know <laughs> that they really want you to because these are. These are actually temps. Look, well, I don't know. The sidewalk's probably on the other side, but I'll I've tell never, you. I've never seen anybody walk through it, so. We are now through the tunnel, and we are just about at Asheville North Ford. We're almost downtown. We're, al All we're right. almost to the city building. It's really not very far. I can't wait to run that elevator. That's it right over there. See that one with the tall, yeah. with the little. It looks like they're renovating the outside of it. Yeah, this is downtown yeah they are. Asheville. I hope those elevators aren't on the chopping block. That they're gonna get modernized? Hopefully yeah. not. But I'll tell you one thing, Andrea is I mean, just talking to her on Facebook, I wish there was more human beings like her. Yes. I'm not talking about from a business point of view, I'm talking about from a human being Christian point of view. Yes. She mm -hmm. is a very generous person. She is a woman of God. She's self giving. I wish I could be like that, I really do. I'm I'm getting better about it. Like when TJ gets his birthday gift, uh, I think he'll really like it. Well, we got some stuff I think you'll really like it, too. I just have to get... I, I wasn't able to finish putting it together because I wanted to get out, but all I got to do is go to Lowe's and get a couple maybe, of parts. Maybe... Look what we have here. An old Monarch elevator. Look at this. It's hydro. Look, it's red light. Yeah, you can see the ram in there. Stand back. Oh wow, the door's automatic. All right, let me get a view. Let me get a view before we go in, please. Oh wow, look how I'll use the cork RGB in here because it's kind of low light. This thing is teeny weeny. It's going to be a tight squeeze in here. You got the door, Jeff? Yep, I got it. Yeah. Look at these older GAL fixtures. The nameplate is covered up by the sign. Tell me when you're ready. Are you ready? Uh, yep, yep. We're Let's ready. listen to the motor. Yeah, the RGB works pretty good. Watch the gate. You don't have your hands in there, watch the gate. Oh, wow, I'm not putting my camera on the ground for that. All right, now we'll take it back down to one. Set it to one. The iPhone today. Wee. 
And if you don't mind, I'll set my camera right here, TJ, okay? Okay. All right, set my camera on the floor, along with the quark. Watch out for my camera, all right? Okay. Here we go up to three. Ready? One, two. Over levels and then levels down. This is a nice elevator. Look up there. Monarch elevator, Greensboro, North Carolina. I don't think you fit eight persons in this elevator. Look at that Art Deco up there. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think eight people would fit, would it, TJ? Mm -hmm. This is a 1954 elevator, according to these records right here. And do we want to get off on any other floors? Do we want to get off on two? Yeah, we can get off on two. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, let's exit. We will exit. Watch your step. All right, and there it goes. That elevator's awesome. Okay. All right, cool. Here we go. Elevator operator seat today. Slow. Now watch this, this is variable speed. You move it a little bit. Yes. You go down, you move it further. Here we go, all the way down. Hey mom. Hey sweetie. I'm having fun, so I'll just do this. Does this automatically stop at the bottom? No. You, okay, three, two, and here we are at one. Oop, I gotta go up. Is there a basement here? Yes, yes. Oh, a basement? Okay, let's go check out the basement. Here we go. And this is the basement. Now I guess we'll go back up to the first floor and end the tour. Here we go. It's gonna go up a little bit since we're not going up very far. It's gonna take it kind of slow. What? And okay. down a little bit. There we go. That's good enough. That's fine. <laughs> now let's go ahead and get a view of the cab. Look at this beautiful elevator. Sorry if I'm in your way, Diesel Dizzy. That's all right. <laughs> Here is the controller right here. It's just like the one in the state, what's the other building? The city building. The city building, and it's the same one as at the Robert E. Lee Hotel in Lexington, Virginia. You got your down calls here, up calls here. It's got a glass gate. Dalstrom door, look, this is a Dalstrom door. Yes, it? Yeah. Okay. And a little bit off on the leveling, yeah. but that Be was careful. me. Just step up a little bit. Step up. Okay. Right. And thank you for letting me drive your elevator. Thank you. Let's not forget to look at the street letterbox lock. Number 48. Give it a second. He'll come off. There's, oh, there's. Yeah, he's coming off. Oh, he's on his phone. <laughs> Here we go. Cool beans. Oops, sorry. You got a faster nose. Oh wow! Let me go look at this cab real quick. This is beautiful. Now we're gonna get take a ride on this thing. This thing actually has the automatic unlocker, so you don't have to retiring cam. This is awesome. Does this thing stay pretty busy? This one's just the freight elevator oh, for okay. housekeeping. This is housekeeping freight elevator. Hey, we're you, man. Come All on, right. we'll go off here. All right, I'm just getting a quick view of this. This is nice. All right, thank you. Yeah. That was a ride on the service elevator. Yeah. And now we're getting to go back up to the lobby. And this is our guest elevator. This is the passenger elevator. Don't take any offense to this, but I think your service elevator is cooler. <laughs> <laughs> and 
that will be it. Thank you for calling the Hampton Inn Tunnel Road. This is TJ. How may I assist you? Yes, I was wondering if you had any rooms tonight. Um, let's see. Um, I think we do. Uh, hmm. Tonight? Yes, one night. Okay. We do. We have a king non smoking at, at 89 un plus tax or a two queens at 79 plus tax. I will take the king non smoking. However, I have a question. Am I allowed to bring a real live train engine named Diesel Diesel? Um, just, uh, just, well, no, just make sure that it's just a toy one and not actually a wheel or train. So you can't fit a locomotive in the parking lot? No, but well, you're, if it's a toy train, you can bring it. Yeah, it, it's a toy train, so I'm, okay. I'm bringing the, the train. So, okay, go ahead, uh, put me down for the room. Uh, what time can I show up tonight? Um, check-in time is 2 p.m. Alright, and your name is? Um, my name's TJ. Alright, and will you be there when I check you? Um, yeah. Alright, well I will see you at 3 p.m. and you have a great day, sir. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.